Hey guys, Cat Cool here again, uh, doing another video showing how to install um, an Android operating system um, <clears throat> on a PC. Um, the operating system is called uh, Remix OS, which is designed for uh, for normal PCs. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's crack on and uh, show you what bits we're going to need. Right, guys. Um, the only thing you're going to need is uh, is a just a another PC really, uh, or your main PC, whichever you prefer. Um, as of today, the 1st of March, it's a lot easier to install Remix uh, OS, the Android operating system, onto your hard drive. Um, so, yeah, I mean, as you can see, this is a basic machine I'm going to be installing it on. Um, it's a dual-core CPU, 3 gigs, um, 2 gigs of RAM. Um, you know, it's, it's just a basic machine. Now, for this one, I am going to be installing uh, the 32-bit version of Remix OS as this machine's a little bit older. If you've got a newer machine then obviously you can use um, the 64-bit uh, version. Um, so the first thing to do is to open the web browser which we'll do and we'll get the camera set back up so you can uh, see what's going on. There we go, that'll yeah. do. Right, if we just um, click in the search and go to Remix OS, and it'll come up here, Remix OS for PC. Just click that link there, and uh, you'll get this page, and it'll say Download Now. So click Download Now, and as you can see, on the 32-bit version, there is only a torrent uh uh, file that you can download, uh, whereas 64-bit edition there is a, a, a direct download uh, button. But uh, so the first thing you'll need to do is click the torrent download, and it'll do that. So the next thing to do <coughs> is to install a torrent client. Um, I'm going to go for BitComet, uh, just a personal personal choice. I mean, there's many BitTorrent clients out there. Uh, that you can go for uh, so we'll just get uh, this one and install it and then we can start downloading the uh, Remix OS file um, I don't know if that's finished, yeah that's finished right just install this blah 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 and the, and the one thing with torrent clients is just make sure it's not installing anything you don't want it to like I don't know if you can see here, but it says set Google AT Comet, which you don't want to do, and install MPC Star, don't do that. Uh, it's probably full of spyware, to be fair. Um, yeah, you don't want it starting when it starts up. Um, so run bit Comet. Right, and then file. Now you don't want to see the new features. File, open torrent. Uh, and we need to <coughs> once computer wakes up we go to C uh, program files eight oh no sorry that's wrong <laughs> go to users that one downloads and there it is and click open this will say you know download it just click download now and that will now be downloading. Now, once that's done, uh, then we'll uh, we'll pick it back up there because that's going to take a while to download. Um, so yeah, we'll pick it back up once that's finished downloading. Right, and guys, as you can see, it's now downloading, downloaded rather. Um, so we'll just stop that. That's no problem. Right, you can close your uh, torrent client. And also close that web page that it's decided to open. Uh, on that one, we won't need that anymore. Um, and I'm just going to close it in here just so it uh, gets rid of it. There we go. Right. 
<coughs> so what we need to do now is go to um, C drive. So we're going to computer, C drive, uh, downloads. And there it is. Uh, so we highlight that, right click and extract all. And uh, just extract all the files. Which shouldn't take too long to be fair. I uh, don't know what that's talking about, but never mind. It is only a fresh install of Windows 7, so, um, you know, it's not been updated or anything like that yet, uh, which I will do later, but um, just for the minute, it's uh, just so we can get this guide done and get it out there. I will also be doing a guide for uh, how to install the Google Play Store because when you install it, you don't get the Google Play Store on it. It's it's not a difficult um, difficult thing to do. It's quite basic, uh, to be honest, quite a basic tutorial. But I'll uh, I'll do a video of that as well. Um, I think they call it side loading. Uh, I think is the technical term for it. Like I say, I'll do a video on that um, shortly after I've done this one, actually. But, um, there we go. So then it opens the folder with the two files in. Uh, we've got, uh, as you can see, a Remix OS for PC 32-bit beta version. So we double-click in there. Click on the um, Remix OS installation tool. Double click that, just click yes, and here you will see um, it says it says type hard disk. You can still install it to USB drive like you could before, um, but it'd be a lot better off a hard drive, I think. Uh, so we install it to hard drive C. So basically, we need to go to browse and go to C downloads. You'll see the Remix OS folder there, and that one there, and then point to the disk image file, um, just there, and then click open. There we go. That's all fine. And then basically all you do, you click OK. And it says for your CPU, make sure you're using the 32-bit version of Remix OS for PC, uh, which I am doing, so uh, that's all good. So... We click on OK and uh, let it um, do its installation. And, uh, basically, we'll let that install because that'll take a few minutes. There's no point in keeping the camera rolling. Uh, so we'll pick it back up once that's finished um, doing this particular part. Right then, guys. As you can see, it's, um, it's now installed. Um, you know, and it says uh, basically exit or reboot now. So what we're going to do now, we're going to click on reboot now. And we should, as, as, as the computer restarts, we should have an option um, to, uh, to load either Windows 7 or Remix OS. Um, hopefully. Uh, I can't see any reason why we wouldn't. But... Uh, Right, and there we go, we've got Windows 7 and Remix OS. So we select Remix OS and press Enter. Use the arrow keys to select it and then press Enter. As you see, it says uh, enter the menu. There's no need to enter that menu at all. Um, and there we go, it's starting to go through the initial setup procedure of Remix OS. And here it goes, creating the... Uh, it's doing all the things it needs to do. I don't think that's... Uh... You see that a little bit better now. Now I've zoomed out a bit. But uh, yeah, basically at this point it's um, initialising the data partition which is, uh, it needs eight, eight gigabytes for that. Um, so this is gonna take a little bit of time. 
Uh, it says 15 minutes on this particular machine. Yours might be a bit faster, uh, might be a bit slower, but you just have to be patient at this point. Um, so uh, what we'll do is we'll pick it back up um, when this when it's finished uh, doing the data partition. Um, okay. As you can see now, guys, there's less than a minute to go until um, until the installation. Well, this part of the installation is complete. Um, hopefully we'll be all good to go. I believe it may reboot after this step. Um, I'm not 100% certain because this is I'm I'm doing this kind of blind because I've never tried to install uh, this new version. I, I I have currently on on another machine got the uh, older version um, on there, which is a lot more hassle to install than this one. To be fair, to a hard drive, so it's quite a good step that they've taken to include all this into it and, and and I mean obviously it is still a beta so there will be problems uh, will be issues with it but um, like I say I use it mainly for the Project Cars Dash app um, to run on there um, as it's a nice big screen for the timing screen so um, yeah that's personally what I use it for and I've had no problem um, it says it's checking the partition now uh, reboot it, ah oh, no it's not rebooting, there we go it's booting Remix OS so this is uh, where we find out if it's um, if it's going to work or not Hopefully in a moment or two, we'll um, we'll see the uh, Remix OS desktop. Hopefully, it shouldn't take too long, uh, to be honest. Um, if I remember rightly, when I installed it last time um, on the older version, it didn't take too long uh, once this part was up. And it is quite a fast booting operating system. I mean, uh, obviously this initial one uh, does take a little bit longer, but. Um, when when it's actually all set up and installed, it doesn't take any time at all. Uh, it really doesn't. And here we go. Here's the setup procedure. Select your language. So uh, we'll select English United States. You can change, or actually, I don't know if you use the keyboard. No. You need to select English United States even if you're in UK. Uh, oh, you can select your keyboard layout right at the bottom, actually. Uh, what have we got? Uh, English UK. There we go. Click that. And then go back. And then just click next down there. Uh, this is just the uh, agreement. Just click next. Setup is complete. Your Remix OS is ready. And there we go. We're booted into Remix OS, and uh, and and that's that's basically it. Um, that's the operating system installed. Like I say, I will I will do a separate video on how to get the Google Play Store working because I believe uh, if we just tilt the camera down uh, and just zoom in this sort of area. Uh, about there. I do believe that the Google Play Store won't be included. It'll be a bonus if it is, but no, it isn't. I didn't think it would be. Um, so, like I say, I'll do a separate video which uh, shows you um, how to how to load the Google Play Store onto it so you can get all your favourite apps and programmes and all that sort of thing. So, uh, that's the end of the tutorial, guys. Um, many thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Okay guys, I'll catch you soon.